Coming up on Normandy, coming up on Normandy. Sweet, thank you, man. Dude, you did all that without that? That's pretty impressive. Yep, making a turn, coming at us. Ooh, look at that old Nova. <clears throat> Is that a Nova or Malibu? Okay, never mind. Let's get back to work, everybody. Oh, we're live on the website. Hey, everybody, thank you for joining us. We do have a pursuit. This is in the South Los Angeles area. Big box truck. That's called a bobtail, by the way. That's a, what they really are called, bobtail trucks. But you can see it right there. That has been hitting multiple. They're calling them stop sticks. I always call them spike strips. But whatever you call them, definitely working today. And that truck definitely running them over. You've got two flat tires in the front. And one of them gone. Look at that. I mean gone, gone, gone. That thing is on the rim. Now, this is one of those ones where you got to worry about the performance of that big heavy truck he has been in traffic we have actually been watching as he's been making a way around vehicles not trying to hit anybody really truly making a huge effort to be I'm doing the air quotes safe or as safe as you can be in a pursuit LAPD there's a number of vehicles behind them and that number probably has a finite number but you can see that it almost looks like a movie set down there they've got a lot of LAPD on the ground the LAPD helicopter above it and this is what I'm talking about. Came to a stop again at a red light. This is what is kind of odd, to say the least. You can see that truck smoking right there. That's probably going to be the heat from the rim running on that asphalt. We've been trying to get a peek at the driver the best we can. That's going to be the best shot we had. I don't know if this is a carjacking or if this is a crime of opportunity, like somebody just got up in there. But this guy looks like he's... Pardon me? 211 suspect. So th that's a that's a burglary suspect, but this guy actually looks like okay, I got to go to work everybody. Right now we're following a pursuit. You're taking a look at the vehicle that uh, deputies definitely want, and they want to stop that driver right there. We're in South LA. Let's go up to Stu and Sky Fox for the very latest on this. Stu, what's happening? Hey, just thank you guys for joining us. And this is a pursuit of this box truck out here. And you can tell it is pretty big and pretty heavy. Now, we just were getting information just for a moment ago from our assignment desk. This is a 211 suspect. 211 translate to a burglary suspect or a robbery suspect. But it does definitely look like the driver looks like he belongs in a truck. When I say that, he's dressed like a driver. So there's, I've, got, I've got a lot of questions, but I can give you guys a lot of information. Oh, oh that's the first time we saw something like that. Oh. And that front wheel. Look at it kind there of it bumping goes. around. It, they, oh, this might be coming to an end right now. <clears throat> that vehicle hit a number of stop sticks earlier on. They're calling them stop sticks now. We used to call them spike strips, but it ran over a number of them, at least two that we saw. Now the driver just jumping out. It looks like he's complying, like he's done this before. Just gets out of the vehicle and is doing the doing the dance, hands up, and just, I'm sure they're not even calling anything out yet, but very upset about the situation. And again, it's one of those ones, you, you can't call me wrong it looks like he is a worker like a driver for that vehicle anyway he's out it looks like he's complying I'm gonna kind of stay a little bit wider because that kind of uh, aggregated aggravated stance might turn into something else but this pursuit coming to an end it's been going on for a few minutes out here in the South Los Angeles area but it does look like it finally coming to an end out here on Normandy near the cross of Vernon and you have to wonder what's inside that box mm -hmm. truck to begin with if it was in fact a burglary call. Hopefully if there was any merchandise or anything taken from any victims out there that they'll get them back. Definitely. And, and you know, it just kind of wondered what was going on. I mean, that's a that's a huge vehicle. And when they said it was a burglary suspect, that kind of just really threw me for a loop. Officers from LAPD doing their approach. They're going to go ahead and they're going to have to clear that vehicle and also cuff that suspect. It does look like he is definitely complying. <clears throat> Officers have to clear the cab, even though we're pretty sure that it was just the driver in there. And of course, you know, usually we see him pop open those trunks and we want to see what's in there. Usually it's just a bunch of dirty laundry. But this time there might be something a little bit different. We're going to see if we can get Sky Fox maybe to do an orbit or move a little bit to the, I believe, to the north so we can see what's in the back. But this is, again, coming to an end in a very dangerous situation. Indeed, that big, heavy truck could have caused a lot of damage, but that driver seemed to be concerned or at least cared about the vehicles around him.
Yeah, definitely a good ending to this. It, thankfully, nobody was hurt in all this, but again, taking police on a wild ride for at least 10 minutes here in this pursuit for this burglary suspect, all coming to a peaceful end as deputies, uh, in fact, clear that box truck and look in the back as well. And of course, their investigation is just, con uh, just beginning. All right, thank you for joining us on this. Now let's go back to Sherry in progress.